Hi there, and welcome to the island of Costa Azura, the start to our very first city on this channel. A custom map on the workshop, made by Tilly Radko, link is in the description. We're going to be making different themed towns and cities on this map stretching across the globe, cultures and countries, using all different DLC and just a few mods to help along the way. I'm your host, Manny Minxie, sit back, relax, and enjoy the views. So we're starting on this square here and as you can see there is not a ton of land actually, very contrary to what I said in my previous video about how I like maps with a big landmass. But I digress, we can build a little bit of road and then delete it like we do at the beginning of every game as you know. So I'm just going to build a main road here coming off of our archery road, this is going to be our main avenue sort of road for our town. The first town we're building here is a American styled small town just along this river here. And I think it will look quite nice. We're going to have one of them um, big red brick libraries here. Um, definitely around some shops up the main avenue and I think we're going to build across there, across the lake. Uh, so I'm just going to prepare the road to do that. So the first episode especially, I'm just going to be laying out the basics of this little town here. And I think we're just going to get to uh, 700 people so that we can get some detailing stuff unlocked. So we're just going to go through the first basics of the game, getting everything set up and prepared for the future, basically. So I'm just going to build some blocks here because if I know anything about American towns, they are quite blocky. And I'm going to build some little runoff roads. I am think I'm going to go with these little roads here that have like no parking on them just so that the roads outside the houses don't look too busy and clogged up. I think that'll look quite nice. Also I'm using another mod at the moment that makes these roads lighter and the main roads here darker. I cannot quite remember what the mod is but I'll have a look in a second and the link should be in the description for all of the mods that I am using. So we're just going to do three blocks for now along this main avenue and then I think maybe move over to where we're going to do our factories next. Yeah, I'm quite I like, I like that, I'm happy with that so far. I'll just change that. <laughs> there we go. So much better. And over here we're just going to be using some dirt roads I think because I don't know. For now, I'm I'm good with just using that road. So we're going to be changing all this later anyway. So for now, we're going to be using just normal factories. But as soon as we unlock uh, districts, I'm going to be turning this into more of like a forestry. And maybe we're going to have some farming too. So it's going to be one of them old um, forestry of farming towns, agricultural town, basically. I, I quite like the idea of that. And then right at the top here, in between the um, industry and the residential areas, we're going to be doing some power, some water. And it's probably where we're going to have our dump as well, because it's just sort of nice in the middle of them both, but also far enough away. And we do have this little um, highway separating the two apart, which is always a plus. So just going to build some dirt roads here and just plop these down. I am going to go for more greener options, but for now it just, it's the easier option. It produces the most electric, so we're going to go with the oil-powered power station and inland water treatment, because I do not want to pollute that lovely looking sea that we have out the front there. And there we have it, we are just going to hook these up to oh crap okay okay <laughs> i forgot about um the water towers and stuff um i'm just gonna place it at the beginning of the city here because i quite like using it as like a visual cue i don't know if that makes sense i like having it at the beginning of cities or towns basically just it gives it like a nice rural vibe and then i'm gonna completely also i'm so sorry um not really pay attention to the roads as you can see oh no <laughs> oh god <laughs> I'm going along with this road, so I'm, yeah, I'm going under some of the roads. You're welcome. There we go. Now that we have water, I'm just going to start placing um, these. <laughs> Look away now. I'm very sorry. I'm just bulk placing residential because I don't fear the death wave. The death wave fears me, actually. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to be placing all of this residential. 
I am, however, not going to be placing these bits here against the road just to help with a bit of traffic. And then also the shops, actually, I'm not going to be placing like this. This is what I'm going to do. So we're actually going to place like little tiny bits like here and here just to separate it and not make it too like noisy and thrown down basically. I don't know. I just like doing this at the front here. It, it, yeah, it's going to look nice once it's actually sprout up with like little car parks and stuff. And just one there and I think that's it. I don't want too many. And then with industry, I'm just going to throw it down because I don't really care about industry. It's, yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to make it look a lot better later with some forestry and farming. So, yeah, that's what we get. And just throw in some power. Just bring them across. I'm not really caring about them. And then there we have it. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit so these houses have a chance to grow. Oh, God, this is always the best bit of building a city. When you have your first little houses sprout up. Oh, God, so proud. Oh god, look at this. Oh, I also want to touch on another mod I'm using at the moment. Um, it is realistic population. So this house would normally be like one household. But as you can see, there's clearly two different houses there. So this one does two households. Another thing I really like to do is... Oh, click that off. And go down to here. And if I like it, I make it historical. Just so it stays the same and it doesn't upgrade or change. And you'll see me doing that a few little times. Just... Especially throughout these smaller towns with smaller buildings. It's like the easiest way to add a bit of detail to your little towns and villages. And I just, yeah, I like doing it. And then, oh, oh, okay, well, little hamlet. Oh my god, we made the first milestone. So we've got some loans. Oh, good. Um, garbage, healthcare, and education. Great, great, great. Good stuff. I like this. One thing I like to do is actually open this menu, go onto taxes, and turn it up to 13%. A lot of people say 12%, but you can actually go up to 13% without people complaining. And hopefully that should get us out of the red, because we're not doing too good with money. And I'm just going to dump the little, um, the dump <laughs> out of here. No pun intended. Um, yeah, just out of the way, but also not too far away from everything else. Uh, place that there. There we go. Let's place our primary school down here. And I know it's a bit weird having it, like, sort of on the main road, but I like it to be central. And I want to add a park behind it, just to add some more realism, once we actually unlock a park size. We don't have parks right now. And then with the medical centre, I think throw that on the main avenue, just over here. There we go. And I want to change the ambulances, uh, just there. That's the de demand for residential. Oh my god, that has gone up again. So I just built a few blocks just to prepare ourselves to place some residentials. <laughs> And I'm just going to build a few of these little commercial areas just on along in between the river and the houses here. I think that would look quite nice. Yeah, just like that. I don't want them all close together and with residential just place. Yep, down like that. <laughs> Once again, I do not fear the death wave. The death wave fears me. And if you have that mindset, you won't fear the death wave either. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm even saying anymore. Uh, just connect this route. Yep. So I'm just gonna go along at some of these that are sprouting up now and just make them historical. Oh, this one's nice. I like this one. Although I may have to move that, actually. Uh, this one, I don't know. I like it, but it's a bit big. That one's okay for now. Um, yeah. I think that looks okay. So, just gonna fast forward and watch the city grow until we hit the new milestone. Yay! Okay, we unlocked, ugh, we finally unlocked districts. Okay, so we can change some of the industry into forestry now and um, place some police departments and fire stations. So I'm just gonna fill in the last little section at the back on this side so we've completely filled up sort of all the space on this side of the river. And once again, just, oh God. Wait, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Delete, never mind. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm just doing one last block at the end here just to fill in some residential demand that we have. And then we should be getting started with the other side of the river. We're going to do a little bridge across. And you can see the way I've sort of um, laid everything out where residential is in the middle and then we've got like little bits of commercial dotted around the outskirts. I don't know, I just feel like it makes it easier for like traffic, like um, residences to get to work, get to the shops. And I'm just going to go for one of these custom bridges that came with the Bridges and Piers pack, I think it was. And, oh, oh okay, wait. <laughs> oh, no. 
This is the one downside to making historical places. You have to like move them or delete them. Luckily we have the um, move it mod so we can just move it over instead of like deleting it or yeah. Um, <laughs> that would have been very disastrous if we did not have that mod in. So I'm just going to go for this bridge here. It's um, the American theme, I think, which would is, is the best bridge that would suit this sort of American style town, I think. So I've just done a basic connection on the other side, done some little roads up with a cul-de-sac and sort of quickly zoned in some residential. We just placed in a firehouse now. I like to have mine sort of more on the industrial side. I feel like there's a lot more fires with industry. And I'm going to put it off the main road so I don't have to keep turning around every single time they come out, which does get annoying and slows down fire. So I'm just going to place some water. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, never mind. We hit the tiny town milestone. Okay. <laughs> this is honestly the best milestone in the entire game. It unlocks uh, parks, trees, pathways, bushes, just all of the good fun detailing stuff. And I think we're going to get into the detailing um, soon. So before I do that, I actually want to get a small loan out. A small loan of a million dollars. I never actually really take a loan out, but I think I might take this one out maybe. Just because there's a lot I want to do. I want to build a big school area with parks and parking. I want to build an actual proper park. Another park behind this primary school. I want to place a library down. And that's obviously a lot more than I actually have at the moment. So yeah, just taking that small loan now. And that there is exactly where I want this library to go. I think, I don't know why, but I just see this library being like a very small town American. Although I might change it around so it's not on the main avenue. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I like that. Also, the light um, shines off it better, I think, on this side. So yeah, just going to flatten this area. I think we're going to have this whole area here. It's a park with some commercial around it. That'll look quite nice. And we get into the parks and rec in the next episode. So just gonna flatten out and zone this area as a park. Oh, I cannot wait to get into parks and industries and all of that good stuff later on in the season. It's gonna be so great. Um, I just want this entire area. I'm gonna have a cemetery here too once we unlock that. That'd be great also. So just prepping the ground here for the high school. I think I'm gonna have it in the middle here, sort of in between the two towns right at the top and I'm gonna have some one-way roads going around it just I think that's more realistic for the entrance of a school just so that cars and buses have a clear way to go in one way out the other way and um, yeah gonna have some parks around it it's gonna look really nice and great can't wait so just placing this L-shaped school this is honestly my favorite school in this entire game it's so uh, just normal average realistic like I don't like these big toy looking sort of schools and stuff that came with like the original base game uh, they look nice and they suit some cities but just not this one so i've placed some two parks the tennis park and the basketball park just behind the school here and just doing a little car park now this is um a car park mod i will also link it in the description somewhere i honestly cannot play this game without car parks i think they just add so much realism i love them so much um yeah so city skylines too please parks uh car parks i mean <laughs> i need car parks more of them so we just finished zoning this area residential in the middle and little dots of commercial on the outside i quite like it Oh, and before I forget, I need to add a little play park here just at the back of the primary school. I know it's on the main road, which looks a bit weird, but um, it is what it is, and it's going to have to do for now. <laughs> but I think it looks nice, it just adds a little bit more to that, and we're going to get into the speed build now, so I'll see you in a minute.
Look how nice and neat that looks with the keys in. I just love it. Um, oh, um, back with the um, time lapse. <laughs> So that is it with the detailing. I think we've done quite a good job today actually. We've got quite a lot done actually. Um, next time we're going to be expanding the residential areas and building one or two industrial zones and I can't, I can't wait for that actually. It's going to be really fun. Just finishing off here with a little bit of um, a few more blocks just because I've realised that there is a ton of demand for residential. It's actually at its max. So I'm just going to quickly fill this in and uh, leave it there like that um, for us to do stuff with next time. So any suggestions or a name for the town, write it in the comments below. If you did enjoy yourself, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.